So the Emperor's Champion is easily one of the coolest units in all of 40k. They're a Black Templar that has received a message from the God Emperor. But they will take up one of the Black Swords and serve as a vehicle for his divine retribution. But how exactly are one of these guys chosen? And why are they only really associated with the Black Templars? Now the thing you have to understand about the Black Templars is they're a lot different than normal Space Marine chapters. For one, they actually reject the Imperial Truth. And they're one of only a couple of Space Marine chapters that actually embraces the Emperor as the God of Mankind. They also take tradition very seriously. They're actually a chapter that refuses to allow librarians within their ranks. As the Emperor had pretty much declared all psychers to be witches. And they don't view the word of the Emperor as up to interpretation. And the Emperor's Champion actually used to be a role that was embraced by pretty much every chapter. However, in the 41st millennium, we really only see them in the Black Templars. And the lore's not 100% clear on this, but it's my interpretation that since the Black Templar truly take the Emperor's divinity seriously, that they would actually view these visions as a message from God. Whereas other legions may just see this as some type of omen. Now the Black Templars use more chaplains than pretty much any other Space Marine chapter. Kinda makes up for the lack of psychers. And the Black Templar take prayer very seriously. They view prayer on the eve of battle as a sacred ritual. They bow their heads and seek the Emperor's guidance. Now the visions that an Emperor's Champion receives are incredibly rare. They can happen to literally any member of the Black Templars. When it happens, the Battle Brother will enter a fugue state, and their minds will be assailed with visions from past and future battles. And although these visions are unique to the individual, they always incorporate the same symbolism and imagery. After the Templar's fugue state is cleared, he will consult with his chaplain on what he just saw. If the chaplain believes there's any possibility that this could in fact be a vision from the Emperor, he will guide his brother away to a chamber of contemplation, and the most senior chaplain will be brought in to hear the vision. After hearing the testimony from his battle brother, the chaplain will consult a tome known as the Liber Divinicatus, which contains within its pages the accounts of all the champions that have come before him. If the chaplain manages to find a bunch of patterns between the book and the vision, then the Space Marine will be led to a sacred place known as a Lay Shrine. It is here that he will surrender his armor and weapons to the chaplain, and the chapter's serfs will dress him piece by piece in a sacred suit of artificer power armor known as the Armor of Faith. Every fragment will then be anointed in sacred text and be blessed by the company's chaplains. The new champion will then reach into a casket and draw out one of ten sacred black swords. The ritual will end with him lifting the sword over his head, and his new helmet will be dawned on him, and he will begin his new life as the Emperor's Champion. Now, early lore basically said that this only lasted for a set period of time, and that they would eventually rejoin their brothers as just a normal Black Templar. However, their 9th edition supplement says that their old life is over. Other text seems to indicate as well that their role as the champion is not over until the Black Sword is pried from their cold, dead hands. And oh yeah, their equipment is so sacred to the Templars, that if they ever do fall in battle, retrieval of those relics is top priority. There have actually been entire penitent crusades sent just to retrieve their armor and sword, because to lose them would bring an unimaginable shame on the Black Templars. 